Today I'm gonna talk about the new stati uh, statistical software. Um, it's relatively new. Um, it's called JASP, uh, and this is how the interface looks like. Uh, as you notice, it, it looks very clean. It looks very minimal, uh, and it, it is said to perform some basic to intermediate um, st statistical analysis. Uh, and if you would read here. It does not only perform null hypothesis testing, but can it, uh, it can also perform some Bayesian um, analysis. So um, today I'll just give you a brief introduction about what this software is uh, and some of the cool things that you can do with this simple looking software. <clears throat> to, to begin with, um, one of the best things about this particular software is that it's uh, free it's open source it can be downloaded for free uh, absolutely without any charge and uh, you can install it in your in your computer without any hassle <clears throat> um, so I'll, I'll try to demonstrate some of its uh, cool features uh, and maybe we can start by um, how to export a particular uh, data set now <clears throat> so far it's still limited in the sense that you cannot encode data directly uh, to this uh, particular software your data has to be prepared on an Excel worksheet you have to clean your data uh, using Excel uh, and from your Excel worksheet uh, you can upload it or you can export it to um, JASP now when you click open to export um, to export data you will notice that you will notice that the only data file it, it recognizes is that JASP and that CSV so it obviously does not recognize an Excel files but so how do we how do we export um, our data from an Excel uh, from Excel to this particular uh, software so the trick is to be able to save your Excel file which is um, .xlsx and uh, save it as .csp so this is an Excel file it will not be recognized by JASP but if you save this so change the file type if you save this as comma delimited dot CSV click on save <clears throat> um, there, there will be a warning saying that you can only save the current worksheet that you are working on so this particular worksheet sheet then just say yes to that and say yes again to the next warning and now we add uh, our file uh, you will notice that uh, this particular file is now .csv, which can be recognized now by your uh, by by the software. So let's close that. So let's go to um, JSP. So where is our file? It should be here. There, sample data. So just click open. The file will load easily. Okay, so this is now our data set. There are about 406 participants in this particular data set. And there are a number of variables here. Uh, gender, age, exercise, stress, health, so forth and so on. So the first thing that we want to do is to be able to appropriately determine uh, what kind of data this is. If you're familiar with Excel, then you're familiar with these symbols as well. So this is symbol for scale, um, uh, ordinal data, and nominal data. So of course, age is a scale data. Exercise is as well. Uh, so I'll just convert this into... Now, hypertension, uh, they were simply asked if they were diagnosed with hypertension. Uh, zero means no one means yes so this is a nominal data <coughs> you will also notice that um, I've decided that um, 
sum of uh, a gender in this particular case were not converted I was not converted into numerical codes but instead I retained the labels males and male and female so that's that's okay uh, this particular software can deal with that especially if you're doing especially if you're doing a mean comparison however if you would include gender let's say for example in a regression analysis then it would be best to convert these values or uh, these labels rather into numerical codes such as 0 and 1 but of course you cannot do it directly here because uh, it, you cannot ed edit data uh, in this software so you have to do your editing um, in your Excel and then export it back to JASP so hours in front of a computer, scale as well, Facebook, Facebook addiction based on a, a certain instrument and loneliness are also scale data. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so in here, uh, there are a uh, couple of analyses that can be performed, uh, descriptives as well. So t-test you can perform these types of t-test you can also perform Bayesian counterparts although I'm not very familiar with uh, Bayesian statistics I still have to learn it and then ANOVA you can do ANOVA you can do um, do we ANOVA here uh, repeated measures um, ANOVA ANCOVA you can also perform correlation linear regression, even multiple regression, stepwise multiple regression can also be performed and then it's Bayesian counterparts and you can also do chi-square basically um, they also have an option for SEM uh, I think this is um, this is sort of a beta module for J, uh, JASP uh, and I, I I don't know how to use it yet so uh, I'm still learning this particular um, software okay, anyway so let's go back to common uh, let's try to perform some uh, <clears throat> basic descriptive statistics so if you click on descriptives so the first thing that you'll notice is that once you click descriptives automatically a table is prepared and if you notice the table is not <clears throat> it's very simple uh, it's not like um, the, the table the output presentations in SPSS or Statistica which seems to be very complicated so let's for example you enter gender um, let's first enter age so if you enter age, which is a scale um, data, and then there are your, um, uh, this is our sample size, the number of scores, 406. There's your mean, there's your standard deviation, your minimum, your maximum. If you want to include another variable, as soon as you transfer it to this box, then another column appears in, your, in the table. If I want to enter another variable, then another column appears. If I want to enter two more variables, then two more columns instantly appear in your table. Cool, right? Now, if I want to remove one variable, it's also automatically removed in the table. How cool is that? Now, what about... Um, Okay, so let, let's let's deal with this first um, there are some options here like for example if you want to look at the um, the display plots and just click display plots and it would give you a sort of a histogram of each of your variables and see whether they look normal or they look skewed <clears throat> okay. if you unclick that plots are gone if you want to see correlation plots 
might take some time there so these are correlation plots nice and if I unclick that then the plots are gone I can also do frequency distribution tables taking some time ah it can only perform um, for nominal and ordinal variables so since all of these are scale so it's not producing any table okay now if we click on statistics then you have several options here if I want to remove minimum it's gone if I want to remove maximum it's gone if I want to include, if I want to see my, the median, the median is there. Uh, if I want to include skewness and kurtosis, it automatically appears together with it, uh, with the standard errors. If I want my quartiles, then it's there as well. If I want them gone, then I uncheck, 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 and they're gone. Now what about nominal data? Let's see. Okay. So for gender, of course, um, it would not compute mean uh, because it's a, it's a nominal data. So it would just report um, how many uh, or the, the sample size. Um, if I click on frequency uh, tables, then um, it would uh, another table would appear uh, and uh, in this table it, ident it identifies how many are females how many are males percentage no, cumulative percentage if i enter hypertension then another table appears and this time it's for hypertension okay <clears throat> all right now, if I want to do another analysis, let's say, for example, simple cor correlation. So another, another um, empty table would, would appear. So if, let's say, for example, let's click or oh, let's enter. So it's saying here in, the, in this box that you can only enter um, ordinal and scale data. So if, if, let's say, for example, you want to include gender uh, in the analysis, or you know, gender, of course, you know, in, uh, on the file that we have, the labels are not, not coded in numbers. Therefore, in the, the therefore, um, it, it cannot be entered into the into the analysis so if you want to enter gender in the analysis then you have to convert it into numerical codes males and females let's enter age and then another variable exercise another one mm -hmm. and there you have uh, the output okay now I can remove my significance and instead just flag uh, the significant correlations now another good thing about this particular software is that if you notice the table is in APA format uh, it even um, if you're using SPSS uh, it appropriately flags significant uh, correlations um, if you want to see the Spearman correlations, you can also produce Spearman correlations. If you don't want, then you can remove that. Um, if you want to see a sort of a correlation matrix, um, it also produces correlation matrix. Okay, so let's uncheck that. Now another good thing about this software is that if you um, you can copy this table to uh, Word 
if you're using uh, Microsoft, I would suggest that you first make sure that the clipboard is available so that when you click copy table, then the table will be available here on the clipboard. If you click on that, then the table, your, your uh, correlation matrix is automatically transferred here and it can be edited I think so you can choose to um, de decrease the font size increase the font size you can even choose to change the the dimensions of the of the table very convenient okay. now what if you want to go back to your previous analysis just click on descriptives and it reverts back to um, these particular options so that's it for the meantime for the meantime um, in my next videos I'll try to demonstrate how to perform some of these null hypothesis testing techniques um, unfortunately I don't think I can make a demonstration on some of the Bayesian analysis for the meantime because I'm not I'm still learning uh, Bayesian analysis okay. so hopefully this helps uh, and stay tuned for my uh, next videos regarding this very promising uh, software called JASP